actually mine. Um, oh yeah. What's up there? Hey. This is your what? What is this? Is this uh, this car? Those famous uh, Priuses. This is a Prius. Yes, that's right. Whoa. That's right. I drive a Prius because it's a way to trump like the LA car culture without actually spending that much money. So, how often do you drive this? Um, I drive it. I don't know. You know, whenever. It's all right. They're pretty good. They're probably not any good for the environment, um, and I'm not sure they actually save any money on gas over overall. Um, but um, you know, the batteries are awful, and there's all sorts of environmental issues that were not foreseen. But but uh, but it's a good size car. I like it. It's got the yeah. It's good. And tell me about you and yoga. I hear that you can do some awesome positions. Oh yes. Uh, well, I mean, awesome is relative. I, I can do uh, the lotus position. I can touch my toes for the first time in my life. My hamstrings and, and, and calves have always been very tight, so being able to touch my toes is an accomplishment. Um, I can stand on my shoulders, um, which didn't take much work. Uh, so I guess I always was able to stand on my shoulders and didn't even know it. Maybe we should get in the right lane. Yeah, yeah we will. Um, but, uh... Have you taken a lot of yoga classes? I've taken, um... Uh, about a year ago, I took two group yoga classes with my wife. Uh, um, but I didn't find them much to my liking. Too gay? No, it was just kind of... I don't know, I just kind of didn't get it. It was just like... Uh, I didn't really see the point of it at that time. Um, but... I applied the principles from the Alexander Technique, Pilates, yoga, which I, which I had read when I was 18. I was I went to India for about seven weeks and um, read a lot of stuff about Hatha yoga at that time. Kind of absorbed a lot, and um, so the principles from that, from Pilates, from the Alexander Technique, and just kind of Buddhist stuff that I'd read about ways to relate to your body, um, and I've been able to make some physical changes in the past few, past couple months uh, my blood pressure is now much much lower than it was my pulse is lower I'm How's sweating the less uh, the smoking is um, still happening uh, I started again I think I told you I, I had the, the worst excuse ever which is that my father-in-law died of lung cancer and that was very stressful for me so I had to start smoking again um, so I'm, I'm, I'm still smoking a bit That'll go. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have much else. Have you seen any good movies lately? I haven't, but I really do want to see Waltz for Bashir. Two I saw people, that yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. You, and and you, you said it was depressing. No, but profound. Yeah. Excellent. That's Yesterday, excellent two film. different people independently told me that I would, I would do myself a favor if I went to go see it before I was out of the theaters. So I downloaded it on BitTorrent, <laughs> and I will watch it. <laughs> well, this thing can accelerate to 45 miles an hour. Yeah, yeah, no, these things are under, I always said like, well, this isn't a four-cylinder engine, obviously, but, but uh, yeah, small cars are underrated, like, for their really quick pickup, like, because they're not big. So even though they got a pussy engine, they can still move. But, uh, and what were you saying on Facebook today? You were saying about everybody should do something, and I'm trying to remember. Everybody should... You were promoting something on Facebook, something something moralistic. I can't remember. You know, I promote a lot of moralistic things. Usually my heart's not really in it, so I forget it very quickly. Yeah. Uh, what, what was... What, can you give me a hint? No. Just remember it caught my attention. In my, in my status? Mm, you join some group. Oh, oh. Well, I join groups when I'm invited to these to join groups and causes. Yeah. Um, and I mean, sometimes I will ignore a, a request if it if it really doesn't suit me. But oh, I have a friend named Kasim Kasim, who uh, is a Kuwaiti of Palestinian origin. His family was expelled from Kuwait uh, after the first Gulf War. Um, and he invited me to join a group called Save the Children. Okay. I didn't, 
I, I joined it, I just assumed it was uh, a Palestinian, you know, what's going on in Gaza. He has friends in Gaza. Um, so I joined that, but I didn't prescribe it to anyone, I don't think. Okay. So how do you feel about what's going on in Gaza right now? I know very little about what is going on in Gaza right now. In the past, I would have been... All over it. All over it. But um, I know very little about what's going on in Gaza right now. So we're on our way to Limud, LA, a taste of Limud. And this is your first, second taste, because you were at the bonfire. Right, the bonfire was Limud. This is my second. Luke is taking me to my second Limud taste. This is taste two. So I've been going to yoga every day for the past five days. And how's that, how's that been? It's good, I like it. It's a nice place, it smells good. Uh, the ratio of women to men is about three to one. It's very healthy. And what, and what's the, what, what, what kind of, because what kind of yoga is it? Because someone... What, Kundalini yoga. <laughs> oh. Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's perfect. Why? What, what do you know about Kundalini yoga? Oh, come on. Luke, I'm a man of the world. I know plenty about Kundalini. I don't know anything about Kundalini. Really? Really. Do you, do you know what it, it means? It, the coiled, something coiled, coiled snake. Serpent, but yeah. yeah, but boy, it means a lot more than that. Luke, you just telling me you just randomly happened upon a place called Kundalini Yoga. No, I was walking past this place for 10 years and I knew I needed to do yoga. But you just wanted yoga, it didn't have to be any... Right, right. <laughs> and I went in and it smelled nice, it looked nice, and the guy was nice and I took one class. And I said, if I sign up for the $1,000 a year option, I'll really save money. Because <laughs> I'll go to class every day and I'll only work out at $3 a day instead of paying $16 an individual class. So I put down my credit card and I'm signed up for a year. You are? You signed up for a year? Yeah, unlimited classes. All right, well, as long as you uh, as long as long you, you go, then you got your money's worth. So well, what do you know about Kundalini Yoga? I'm almost hesitant to begin discussing while I'm driving. Really. I, yeah, I, I like feelings. to reserve my... Is, a, a baseline portion of my attention for the road, and I'm afraid that if I start talking about Kundalini, I will have trouble doing that. Okay. But, um... I respect that. Yeah. But I will, um... Uh, we will discuss that further this evening. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually blown away that, that you just kind of... I mean, there are a lot of yoga places, and um, I've never even heard of a place called Kundalini Yoga, but, uh, Kundalini is a... Well, it's actually, it's called Yoga West LA. And okay. it seems to be mainly peopled by Sikhs. So the guys oh, really? wear turbans and the women cover their hair. Well, that's very interesting. And uh, there's a lot of stuff about the breath and meditation, but everyone's really nice. And you go in there and everyone's nice to you. And There's you, nothing overtly sexual about it at all? Uh, not that I can tell. Um, and, and you go in there and you greet people, I've learned how to greet people, you put your hand on your heart and you say Sat Nam and something about truth. Truth is a good thing, I'm all for truth. Truth is important, man. And everyone was just really nice. And contrast that to all the orthodox shuls that have thrown me out. Yes. And non-orthodox shuls that have bored me to death. And, uh, right. And this is a lovely combination because I can't do a lot of physical exercise without getting sick. My old chronic fatigue syndrome kicks in. So this is like stretching and meditation. Right. Yes. And yes. it may be just perfect for me. Well, I was just going to say, like, the reason yoga, the two classes I took before, didn't work for me is because um, there was no meditational aspect. Um, and I wanted, for me, ultimately, really, the reason I'm doing it is to become more aware of my body, but also to become more aware of my emotional states before they sneak up on me. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, so I, want, I would like a place that's kind of geared towards that. It sounds like this one, maybe. Um, um, I mean, I'm still it's all about for the people. By the Kundalini thing. It's but, all about the people, and these people are nice. Yes. They're really nice. One thing I really find about Eastern community, communities is that, and this can be a fault too, but, but is that they're very, they start from the assumption usually that, like, you take somebody from where they are, or if you don't, you don't, but like, it's, 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 um, you don't run into a lot of righteousness about how you're doing it right, wrong. It's right. like, okay, this is who you are, this right. is how you're doing it, that's one right. way, and, um, you know, and that's much cooler for me. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I go there, and I can't do half the poses, right. and they tell me it's perfectly alright to just lie down there on your mat, yeah. and lying down